Sup watermelons, it's your favorite amateur gardener Ellipsity here, or just simply E. I got a little surprise for y'all today. Anyone remember this pep talk series and how awful it was, how scripted and just plain and dull and bland it was? I decided I'm remodeling that series. This series is now going to be titled Melon to Melon Talks. Cause you know, you're all watermelons and I'm father melon, so I'm gonna be giving you advice basically and just, you know, that stuff I used to do in my old pep talk series, but it was just boring. Here's what's gonna be so different about this series. It's not just gonna be me sitting around, talking, blabbing away from a script. It's gonna be more fun. It's gonna be a lot more interactive. Yes, basically, I'm going to talk about a topic in Animal Jam, any sort of topic, any sort of issue, and you guys can ask your questions, and I'll probably answer those questions in my next Melon to Melon talk. Since I am awful at explaining things, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and show you how this series works. Um, so let's begin with a little skit, and then as this video goes on, things will make more sense. Everything will fall into place. Don't worry, right now you're probably so confused, but It'll make sense. Just, just stay tuned. Here's a little analogy I want to give you all. The world of Animal Jam is like a high school. There's the popular jammers, the haters, the underappreciated, the straight-up bullies, the drama starters, also known as the people who like to gossip, like to throw shade at others, you know, those kinds of people who just love stirring up unnecessary drama. Oh yeah, and then there's the shy introverts that don't really want anything to do with the people of the community because they feel inferior around those people. Now this is where it's time for me to give my opinion. Some jammers in this community feel like they have to literally adjust their entire personality just to get subscribers, fame, all that stuff. They feel as though they have to have these pixelated possessions known as rare items just to be loved, just to be popular, just to be appreciated when they don't even have to have that appreciation. Some will do just about anything to achieve their popularity. Whether it be lying, cheating, scamming, using clickbait to get views on videos, all that stuff that is just so unnecessary. Now, I get it, we all as YouTubers want to grow our channels. We want our content to get noticed. Especially me, I'm a small channel, so of course I want people to see my stuff. But, has it ever occurred to mind that we tend to put so much focus on growing our channels that we forget to notice that our channels are already making progress. If I'm not making any sense here, then it's time for a skit. I don't want to be talking and blabbing away. Let's take Keeley for example. Keeley is a very down-to-earth spiritual fox, and this is why he gets judged. Haha, <laughs> Keeley, you have a girl's name, and you're an unrare noob. Keeley then starts to feel insecure about himself, and he feels as though he has to adjust his personality just so people will like him. Now Keeley's wearing a bunch of these cool items, or items that are considered cool by other jammers. While he is now getting respect from other jammers, Keeley isn't happy. He doesn't feel whole. He doesn't feel like he is one with himself anymore. He's now a complete stranger to himself because he gave up every aspect of his life just so people could approve of him. But he does believe that in order to feel better about himself, he needs to gain more popularity. So he tries his best. As time passes by, he starts craving more rares, more friends, more followers, more subscribers, more of everything that he doesn't have because he's just not satisfied with his life. What has happened to him? He used to be so spiritual, so happy, so optimistic. He wasn't materialistic. All he cared about was the happiness of others, the joy that he felt when he put a smile on others' faces. This journey to fame has ruined him. This intense pressure to be loved and appreciated has caused him to lose himself. He's not true to himself anymore. He's not genuine. He's just fake. This is what fame starts doing to people. The taste of success, which they crave so badly, causes them to do things they would normally not do. I just want to be appreciated, but if I'm myself, no one will appreciate me. Hold it right there, Keeley. Huh? Who said that? I did. What? Who are you? Um, I'm Ellipsity, your creator. I freaking created you! You wouldn't exist if I hadn't created you! 
You don't even know your own creator. Wow. What are you gonna do? Delete me? Please don't delete me. Calm the phantom down, dude. I'm just here to give you some advice. Now I want to ask you some things. Who installed the thought in your mind that you would never be loved for being yourself? Well, I was getting bullied for being myself, so I thought I had to change every part of myself. Well, dude, stop right there. Stop right there. I gotta tell you something. Did the thought, maybe, I don't know, perhaps ever occur to you that in this life, you can't please every single person you meet? Did that thought ever occur to you? Well, yeah, if I change my personality to a personality that every jammer likes. That every jammer likes. Dude. I know plenty of jammers that would despise you just for being who you are right now and not yourself. But I know plenty of jammers who also would love you for being yourself. And are you hurting anybody by being yourself? Well, no, I just want to make people happy. I just want everyone to be happy with who I am. I don't want anyone to be sad or mad. Well, unfortunately, not everyone's going to be pleased. I mean, everyone has their own opinion. They're gonna hate you. They're gonna like you. You just can't focus on the people who hate you, or you'll always feel bad about yourself. That's just life, you know? I guess you're right. I'd rather be hated for who I am than love for who I am not. But what about my subscribers? I have so many fans now. I don't want to lose a bunch of them just for changing to my true self. That's when you'll know who the true fans are and who the fake fans are. You're an awesome person, Keely. Just be yourself. And as for this constant desire for fame and popularity, you have to learn to let that go because you're always going to suffer if you don't learn to appreciate what you have so far. Look at you. You've gained so much in the past few months. Be grateful of what you have. Yes, it's okay to want to work for more, but don't become greedy for it. Try to appreciate what you have at least. Stop allowing your vanity and your constant need for validation to dictate you. You've become a prisoner of your own vanity. You've become so consumed by your desire for fame and validation that you just can't think straight anymore. Remember this, Keely. Your fans only love you for being you. So be you as much as you can be you. Hmm. You're right. I guess my fans will love me for who I am. The true fans, at least. And if I lose subscribers, then I'm just getting rid of all the fake fans. I guess this is a good way to know. Woo! Yes, Keely, that's the spirit. Who knows, maybe when you start being yourself, people will actually love you more because you won't be afraid to be you. People will think you're so confident and they'll want to come to you for advice. You'll be loved. That's true. I never thought of it that way. Yes! Yup, and as long as you aren't hurting anyone, as long as you are a good person inside and you know it, then you should be fine. And so Keely was happy. He didn't feel the need to please everyone anymore. He was just grateful for those who actually cared about him. And that is the lesson I want everyone to take from this melon to melon skit. To just be yourself. Who cares what other people say? Those who actually appreciate you and care about you, they're the ones that matter in life. You're all capable of such amazing things. You all have such amazing talents and you don't even realize it. Maybe you may not realize it yet. Maybe it'll take you years to realize it. But once you find yourself and your true passion and who you want to be in life, don't doubt yourself for it. Just embrace the fact that you found yourself, you know? It's time for another one of my cheesy analogies. Let's take a flower garden, for example. Are all the flowers in that garden the same? Are they all, like, just one color? No, because that would be so boring, you know? Like, why not just have a bunch of different flowers? They all are beautiful and unique in their own way. Think of yourself as a flower. You are beautiful in your own unique way. Whether you're a daisy, a rose, a pansy, you're still a very pretty flower. Here's one final quote that I want to share with you all. Fitting in is an illusion. Everyone is different in some unique way. So stay different. It's what makes the world a less boring place. This doesn't just apply to Animal Jam, it applies to the real world as well. I mean, on Animal Jam, you feel like you have to get all these rares to feel popular and good about yourself because you want to fit in. Look, there's no competition. You don't need the approval of thousands of jammers to feel good about yourself. Now, it's okay to want to trade and stuff, to want the items you're looking for and all that stuff. If you want spikes and all that stuff, if you just like the accessories, then yeah, more power to you. But don't feel like these rares are what are going to define your entire Animal Jam future. You can still enjoy the game as you are. Non-member, unrare, 
anything like that. You can still play the game. Don't quit just because of a few bullies that just want to make you feel bad about yourself because their lives suck. Or maybe some have great lives and brag about it and just want to make everyone feel small, which is also is equally pathetic. I may sound like a hypocrite because I've been guilty of these feelings of not feeling worthy and stuff like that. Yes, I have felt it, sometimes I still feel it, but I don't want anyone else to feel it. I want everyone else to feel great about themselves, and I don't want them to feel what I have been feeling a lot these past several years of my life. To put it simply, do what you love and love what you do. And now here's the question part of the whole melon to melon talk. Just leave any question in the comments about what you feel and why you don't feel comfortable being yourself only if you have the problem of course if you have self-esteem issues explain why you feel that way explain why you feel unworthy and in the next episode of melon to melon talks i will be answering a few of your questions on screen and i'm going to be giving you some advice on screen yup i'll be interacting with you guys basically in the next melon to melon talk anyways i hope this helped you guys feel a little better i don't know I, this is what i'm here for to inspire the heck out of you so if you want to see more of these please let me know i have plenty more planned see you watermelons so you actually made it the whole way through? You watched the entire video? Thank you so much if you did. Well, of course you did, unless you skipped to this part. You know what I'm saying. But thank you for watching. You're always welcome here, whether you're subscribed or not. And always remember this. Never fear your uniqueness. If you have creative ideas, let them out. I'm here to inspire y'all. See you all next video. Bye.